Hollywood, the dream and the nightmare. Somebody call the cops! Squad, the real story, the true story, coming soon from Avco Embassy Pictures. Welcome to Cannery Row. <laughs> Here we go. All right. You ready? Touch your toe. Bring your hips. Jump it, Jack. Home of the world's foremost authorities on leisure. Tough line to hit, Jonesy. I'd like a job as a waitress if you got one. Yeah, but we don't serve too many sandwiches in here. I'm waiting. Right here. Oh, I see. No one knows his name. Who do you know? So they call him Doc. IQ 152, University of Chicago, a master's and PhD. What do you say? Thank you. He keeps to himself. Whenever possible. He knows what he likes. Uh, octopi. Oh, hey, Doc. You know Susie here? He's not the sort of man who goes looking for trouble. How do you do? I, I knew this guy once who was always talking about uh, he was going to order a beer milkshake, get a driver. <laughs> so he never saw her coming. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, without warning, I got them all set. he never had a chance. Excuse me. I gotta go make a phone call. Well, now I'm about as young as I used to be. It's pretty funny business, unborn things and all that. There are funnier businesses. Oh, little sister Q. What do you got, Mr. Bud Snake? You sit here reading starfish for sea urchins. A beer milkshake? Who cares what she thinks? What the hell was that? I call it an over the rainbow. I knew you wouldn't be able to do it. I do what I want. I live the way I want, and I'm free. Hey, I I'm sorry, really. Hey, wh what can I do to make it up? You can walk, kid. Crazier things have happened on Cannery Road. Twenty-five frogs for a buck. You got a five frog profit there. We got you all kinds of frogs. And we figured, what the hell? We might well celebrate. MGM presents Nick Nolte. What have I got myself into? And Deborah Winger. I ain't got the class of a duck. And John Steinbeck's irascible. Let's see what you got, hot stuff. <laughs> irresistible love story. Cannery Road. I don't know, Doc. I like you just fine when you're not around. <laughs> Bon appétit, Monsieur Poirot. Merci, Hyacinthe. Oh, uh, I do not think that uh, formal introductions are necessary. Poirot. Hercule Poirot. There are those who have called me the greatest detective of all time, a description with which I find it difficult to quarrel. But even a great detective must at times recharge the little gray cells. And I recently took my vacation on an Adriatic island so remote as to be unknown even to the guide Michelin. I hope you haven't come here to practice your sleuthing games on my guests. They've all got far too many skeletons in their cupboards. Alina is my wife. That's all there is to it. Till death do you part? 
Even in those days, she could always throw her legs up in the air higher than any of us. <laughs> and wider. Patrick, aren't you getting a little tired of rowing? I'm so sorry. Are we late? Patrick insisted upon rowing me right around the island. It's much bigger than you thought, poor darling. He's absolutely exhausted. I'm not in the least surprised. <laughs> She's been murdered! What the hell do we do now, Odell? Just leave it to me. Do you know what I'm most sick of in this place? What, madame? Pity. I can't bear to be pitied. Oh, my. I'm the last to arrive. I'm sorry, Sir Horace, but it's my duty to put it to you. That you were furious. You lost your temper. You strangled her. That is poppycock! That is poppycock! I wish you to consider very carefully a bathing cap, a bath, a bottle, a wristwatch, the diamond, the noonday gun, the breath of the sea, and the height of the cliff. You, 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 you just wait. Stay right, Linda. You tell her to tell him the truth. But with Hercule Poirot, mysteries never last very long. You are skeptical. Well, perhaps you would care to pit your wits against mine. Bonne chance, mes amis. American dream and typical American problems. You are through at Clay Liquor. Mr. Leach, I'm sure the bank has nothing to worry about. It's going to get everything that's coming to it. The bank wants to see what it's getting oh, into. <laughs> With the Blands, life was just a rat race. A cartoon mouth. Oh, great. Trigger likes you already. Oh, we like B and D, but we don't like S and M. We met at the A and P. But they found a way to beat it. Until... Mr. Raul Mendoza, como esta usted? They met a hot-blooded, emotional, crazy Chicano. I'm a hot-blooded, emotional, crazy Chicano. Eating Raul. Is it a thriller? Is it a romance? It was very wrong. Is it a tragedy? Excuse me. May I sit down? Yes. Is it a comedy? Yes, but not the type you're used to. Eating Raul, rated R. 